Got a bit. Well, you might want to see it start from the get go, so why don't Okay, that's a good point. All right, Mr. 5.0, here is a video of the O3 Cobra. Um, I'm going to do the most in depth review that I can. So, I've got the front there. It's got some leaves and stuff on it, but nothing too crazy. Um, there's a little scuff right there that I don't know what kind of scuff that is, but it'll kind of fade out, but it'll come back. Shut up. Shut up, lady. Um, so the part of the hood that's kind of cracked right here, uh, and then you got a little bit, sort of like a spider web kind of crack thing across the front there on the cowl. Um, and then if you're looking at it from inside, you can kind of see the crack there. A little bit there. There's the girlfriend. Um, also, there is a small crack in the windshield there, which I'm told can be fixed pretty easily. Um, coming around the side here. Like I said, the tires need to be replaced. Um, there's still a little bit of tread left on them. Not a whole lot, but Brembo brakes. There's a little curb rash on the wheels. Um, for the previous owner, I'm not that reckless. Um, come across here. Nothing really, I'm trying to find some dings or dents. There's a small little ding dent there. Like I said, a little bit of dust on the convertible top, but convertible, yeah, excuse me, convertible top's pretty new. Um, that's marker two here, nothing too crazy. Back wheels here, again a little bit of curb rash on the back. Um, they're staggered too, so the, the rear tires are 275s as you can see. Again, these are almost slicks. There's not a whole lot of tread remaining. Um, the damage, there's a little bit, actually, trying to keep the glare out of there. There's a little bit of a scratch there. Keep the glare out. A little bit of a scratch there. Um, I can kind of feel it, so it's not terribly deep. Probably just a little bit into the paint, a little past the clear coat. Um, the scrape I've got, the back bumper, there's a little leaf in there. Won't come out. Anyway, so there's a little bit of a scrape here that's into the metal. So that's kind of a deep scrape right there, and then here a little bit deep there. Mostly that's paint from when the girlfriend backed into it. Um, coming around back. No real marks back here. There's a tiny little scratch there. Too crazy there. Just a uh, the leaves and stuff around here. The other tire. A little bit of curb rash on that wheel as well. Um, that is yeah, a little bit of a scrape there. Or a ding. Uh, some scratches here and there. I don't know what the hell all that is. Uh, and then if I remember correctly, I think this rocker panel, there's kind of... It's not that bad. There's a couple little swirls or scratches, whatever. Nothing major, nothing real deep. Uh, and again, unfortunately, all the wheels have a little bit of curb rash on them. This one's a little worse than some of the others right around here. Uh, but when they're clean from afar, you can't really tell. Still look good. Back to the front. Um, all right, so let me show you the interior. 
sorry this is going to be a bit of a long video but um, so passenger door nothing too crazy there it's got that little UPR supercharged sill there um, there is kind of a little bit of a stain there on the seat a little bit of something there um, other than that the passenger seats pretty pretty well maintained um, a little bit on the floor mats there the floor mats have a little bit of stain stains in them this hasn't been a show car by any means um, all right so coming in here so I got some water in there sorry I got a remote for the Pioneer head unit. Um, I do not know what the hell this does. Um, I don't think it does anything. I don't think it's hooked up to anything. Um, I asked the dealer when I bought it. He had no idea. No story on that. This, however, is the speed controller for the fuel lab pump that I had put in. Um, so again, when it's in this on switch here, it's on the low speed. So just for regular street driving. If you flip it down, that will increase the speed of the pump and increase the output a little bit. They don't recommend you leaving that on for more than 15 minutes though. That's from Fuel Lab. Um, there's a little bit of a, never really noticed that, but there's a little bit of a discoloration there on the interior. Um, everything works great with the head unit. You can watch DVDs uh, while you're driving, which is awesome. Um, other seat, driver's seat, there's a little bit of a stain. I don't know what that is. That's always been there. And then there's something right there. I'm not sure what that is either. Um, that's just suede. And then on the back, if I remember, yep, there's a little dot right there. Um, back seats are pretty much pristine. That's all the folder with all the paperwork, um, the stuff that's been done in the engine and whatnot. Um, comes with a flash tuner, SCT, pretty much brand new. It's only been used once or twice that I know of. Um, when the car was originally tuned to E85, the dealer had it tuned by Kurgan, and the dealer had to pay for that flash tuner. Um, this tack, when I had Pro Dino do the engine, when they put the engine back in the car, for whatever damn reason, excuse my language if you're Mormon, whatever damn reason, they did not rehook this tack back up. And I've been kind of messing around with that and trying to figure out how to get it hooked back up. So the tack itself does not read RPMs, but this, the factory RPM gauge still works. Um, but you'll have to figure out how to get that hooked back up. The, um, the light, the shift light still does work. Not that it matters because the tack isn't hooked up. Um, you got your air fuel gauge, which does work. Volts work. Boost gauge works. Your um, fuel pressure gauge works. And your uh, oil pressure gauge down there works as well. Um, again, the, um, sorry, trying to do this in a rush here, uh, convertible top motor, it makes noise, it just for whatever reason doesn't seem to be hooked up to the actual top itself. Um, like I said, that has kind of taken a back seat in terms of my priorities of stuff I need to fix on this thing. Um, but let's take it for a drive. Well, let me pop the hood here. Go get the girlfriend and get her to sorry i would edit all this out but you just asked for this video so um i know you've seen pictures of it but 2.8 kenny bell mammoth um probably already know that really hard to show you the built engine but you might be able to see a little bit of the blue from when they painted the block there um they're a little bit dirty but these are all new metco pulleys with I mean, less than a thousand miles on them. Um, the engine itself, that's a, a Metco lower down there with less than, a, probably less than 500 miles on that. Um, I did the big three wiring kits as well. So I did zero gauge wires from the alternator to the battery. And then I did uh, zero gauge ground wires from the um, block to the frame and from the battery to the frame. Um, all the stuff that's been done to it. I mean, obviously you see the return style fuel system, aeromotive uh, pressure gauge. Um, gosh, I don't really know what else to say right now. I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff. Um, but definitely built up to be a race car. Race car. Um, alrighty, let's, I guess I'll put the top down. 
and I'm not a fan of it. I didn't do it, but obviously, um, hood latch pin, off there. hood latch pin appearance kit. I would have preferred real hood pins, but I didn't do it. So, all right, let's go for a little quick drive. All righty. I'm going to turn this camera light off. Bear with me. So I can figure out how to do it. Um, all right, I'm not super tech savvy. So you know what? We're not going to turn it off. We're going to we're going to run with it. Here we go. So you hear the pump kick on. Pressure. Oh, the other thing I didn't mention um, that I again low on my priorities list since I've had the car. Um, the rear speakers are not hooked up. They're aftermarket speakers, I'm not sure what, but the car had um, an amplifier and subs and whoever had sold it to the dealer took all that stuff out, just left the wires. So the front speakers work. Um, turn the radio on, here we go. So everything 